Hey folks, this is Kalani. We're going to be looking at the Seal of Tempered Fate. So as you may have guessed from the name, it's the bonus reroll item in Warlords of Draenor, for the first tier at least. And it works exactly how the others do. You can get three per week, sort of, get to that a little later. You can get three per week from the the proper way to get the seals. And then you can use them to reroll for a chance at extra loot, which is nice and shiny and hopefully a lot better going forward. There is a quest giver, which gives you a variety of quests, and you can pick from four. So this quest giver is located in Ashran, in Stormshield for Alliance and Warspear for Horde. For Horde, they're located at the end of this little jetty. Nice war spear map. And then for the Alliance, they're located in the south end of Stormshield. So both of them work exactly the same way, so there's no difference between Horde and Alliance, and you can basically choose how to get your seals. You can pay for them, it is pay for them, with gold, apexes crystals, garrison resources, or honor. You may think that's fantastic, and that is kind of fantastic. So let's have a look at the pricing. 500 gold for your first seal. 1000 apexes crystals. 300 garrison resources. And then for honor, we have 500 honor points. So you may be thinking, ooh, 1500 gold for all of my rerolls, or 900 garrison resources. And you'd be wrong. So let's get one for garrison resources. We'll get a Seal of Tempered Fate. Fantastic. Now, if you want to use garrison resources again, the price goes up. So the pricing for these, and I'll go through them pretty quickly, from gold, it's 500 gold for your first, 1000 for your second, and 2000 for your third. Exact same with honor, 500, 1000, 2000. For garrison resources, it's 300, 600, then 1200. And for apexes crystals, it's 1000, 2000, and then 4000. So be pretty thankful you can pick and choose. So I'd happily do another one for gold, maybe 500 gold. And then maybe I've got enough garrison resources to do a second garrison resources. That would be my three for the week. And remember, you're gonna to have to do this every week if you want all three of your seals. Now, there are a few extra ways in which you can get your hands on these. So let's have a look at those. The first way is with your war mill. At level three, your war mill will grant one of your three seals of tempered fate, the raid bonus loot roll, at no cost each week. So the war mill at level three can give you one of your seals every week for free. Now that is one of your three. That does not give you a fourth. But you can actually get more than three in a week. So that's the first way. Bear in mind War Mill will take a little while to get up to level three. So just to check on that, garrisons in your achievements, followers, unlocks Dwarven Bunker and War Mill. Bear in mind it is a Dwarven Bunker for Alliance, War Mill for Horde. You need to raise 20 followers to level 100. So until you do that, you're not going to get your hands on that free seal. Now, the other way, and the way which you can get over three per week, is from your follower missions. You see the rewards all down the right? One of these rewards could be a Seal of Tempered Fate. Now, those missions are incredibly rare, so don't hold your breath, but it is possible. So, and they don't count towards your cap. So it'd be nice to get the others anyway, but maybe if you're limiting yourself to three, maybe you don't want to spend the gold or the honor, etc, etc. That's a way to get them without having to pay. So that is how you can get your hands on the bonus loot roll items going into Warlords of Draenor for the first raid tier. Obviously, for every raid tier after that, it could be different. And who knows what we'll be doing for that. Maybe the previous tier will get easier and maybe the next tier will be exactly the same. But that's it for this video. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, feel free to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.